Welcome back to Blade District. Today we have an unboxing of well, of a case knife, which is this one. If you haven't already, I'm gonna link a video up here. It was a kind of a Father's Day gift unboxing, a few gifts I got from my father, which included one of these two case knives. One of them had issues, and I bought them from Knife Country USA. Phenomenal customer service. I gave him a call. The guy I spoke to, no questions asked, reset me out the knife, said there's a return label in the box. We're about to unbox it and then I'll just send them this one back. For reference, in that video, I, let's see, is this the chrome vanadium? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the good one, actually. Let's open this first. So, this one is, in case you're interested, dark red bone, peach seed jig, mini copper lock. These are all mini copper locks. This one, let me see, the other side, I think, comes out a little bit more. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. We are very close to hitting 100 subscribers. We're gonna have our first giveaway and then more to come. So this is in chrome vanadium. And first of all, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous with the red and that brass gold, super smooth. See the gold in there that they use. Smooth on open and close. If I go to open it, I could just pinch it ever so slightly and one fluid motion it opens. This one, I'm either giving to my father or keeping for myself, that's why I bought two. One was going to my father and one was staying with me. Slide this away real quick. Come on, All right, I'll get them fancy later. Now this is an, another one that I have, mini copper lock. This is their true sharp. Again, watch how smooth this is opening. Had this one for a while, smooth, open, and close. I'm gonna move these over real quick. This is a beautiful shade of blue, again, with the gold in there, which I absolutely love. Now, we have the one that I got with the chrome vanadium, except this one is the True Sharp. This one is supposed to be a crimson red Bone Peach Seed Jig Mini Copper Lock. I will put a quick photo on screen right around here. Maybe I'll crop down what it should look like. So as I show you this, you can clearly see that one, it was nothing like the photos, but that's not the main concern. So as you can see, this almost has no red in it. It's like a dark, almost brown, black color. This side very vaguely resembles what it should look like. But again, just extremely dark black and I don't know what happened on this side. Now, the most concerning was the opening. I went to open it and it would open about this much and feel super, super gritty and just need a lot of force. So I'm gonna open it the same way. I'm gonna do this one first, just to show you again, back to back. That was the same force, super, super gritty. Right there. And then you gotta give it a lot of force. Very gritty. So, let's see what they sent us. That's my personal one. This one should be a better version of this, and this one will be going back to them. Again, if this works out, huge shout out to Knife Country USA, and if it doesn't, I'm sure they will take care of me if, excuse me, if needed. So let's open this up. I'm just gonna take it off screen real quick, because there's like shipping info, and then I'll bring the box right back. All right, I was actually able to just take off the shipping label, so let's see. This is probably the return label, take that out, put that up here, maybe that's the return, I don't know. Let me grab this stuff out of here real quick. I'll just grab him out, hide the rest of the stuff. Let's see, it's the same thing, crimson red, bone, peach, sea jig, mini copper lock. I'm excited, because like I said, I got this one and then that chrome vanadium version, which is a bright red. One of these I'm gonna keep for myself, one of these are gonna go to my father, as, as well as the Ontario Rat One, which is in that other video that I said I'll link in the beginning. Let's see, I did ask them to open it and see if it's smooth and looks like the pictures. This does seem very nicely packaged, they might not have done it. Okay, a little bit better on that side, a little bit better on this side too. I actually really like this side. The show side is not as nice. This is super, super textured, holy cow. 
I don't know if you could see it on camera, but that's the first thing I'm noticing. It's very hard to like put it in words. This feels smooth all the way across. Although there's like little jigs and things in there, like it just feels smooth. Or this one feels very, very, very rough. You can kind of see here, there's like clear code across the top. Or over here, they're lacking the clear coat. I don't mind that. I like the color and it doesn't feel that bad. It's just a little different. But I gotta say, this looks a lot better. <sighs> just look at the difference in that. Still not, you know, the way I would wish it would look. I'm being picky at this point, I really am. This looks awesome, I wish it, I wish it all looked like this. It still looks like two different knives, so to say. Like these shouldn't be on the same knife. The same way that these two shouldn't be on the same knife. Anyway, most important things. I'm being nitpicky at this point. The opening. Centering is always a little off on these and Well, yeah, that kind of sucks. It's like touching the side. Well, then again, I guess you can just push it wherever the hell you want. It's the one thing with case knives. They just never stay centered. All right, let's open it. All right, that's smoother for sure. Yep. Versus this one. It's stuck, and then you gotta give it a nice little push to it. Right there is like where it gets stuck. Versus this one. There is none. All right, so. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this. I now have that really bright red chrome vanadium and this crimson red as they call it, which looks like it's got a little bit of white and blue peeking out, but you know what? That's what makes it unique. It would have been nice if the scales were a little more uniform as far as the look, like both sides either looked like this or looked like this, but it's a hell of a knife. I really like case knives. They make great gifts. I said that in my other video. You know, when you close it, most of the time, it'll close with no problem. It's just once it's closed, you can kind of shift it around, which is not that nice. Let's see. So, you know, at least this one, <laughs> this is the one I'm returning, unfortunately. This one will go back to the middle. Or at least it won't stick as much to one side. Doesn't really have any blade play, but it's super rough on the opening. It's like right there. Let's see this one real quick. No, it's not like it has any more blade play than that one. Let's see this one. I've had this one for a while. Let's, ah, uh, trying to see what I could do here. Yeah, it wants to go to this side and stay there. That side will bounce back to the middle. Nope. This one, unfortunately, doesn't bounce back. Stays there or stays there. It is what it is. You know, these are not meant to be heavy, heavy use knives, but I think they offer a beautiful blade shape. This one is in their true sharp. All three of these that you're looking at are in their true sharp. I'm gonna be returning this one. And the red one in the beginning, that bright red, that's their chrome vanadium. So that's gonna be it for this video. I got so much stuff in the background. Get out of here. Let's hide all this stuff out of here. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more knife content, upcoming giveaways, drop a comment, let me know what you think about these knives, what your experience is with case knives, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.